darkling I listen. And for many a time, I have been half in love with easeful death, called him soft names and many amused rhyme, to take into the air my quiet breath. Now more than ever, it seems rich to die, to cease upon the midnight with no pain, while thou art pouring forth thy soul abroad in such an ecstasy. Now Keats, right? Half in love with easeful death, right? Keats kind of wish, wishing he would die, not just for the heartache of being rejected and love and seeing his brother die and knowing that he's got tuberculosis, right? But when when is he wishing this? While thou art pouring forth thy soul abroad in such ecstasy. He wants to die right now while he's hearing the song of the nightingale because it's that transcendent, right? It's that catalyst to the sublime. Still wouldst thou sing, and I have ears in vain to thy high requiem become a sod. Thou wast not born for death, immortal bird. No hungry genera generations tread thee down, right? I am born for death. I have been tread down by generations. The voice I hear this passing night was heard in ancient days by emperor and clown. Perhaps the self-same song that found a path through the sad heart of Ruth, when sick for home, she stood in tears amid the uh, alien corn, right? So this, this spirit is not just at the moment that Keats hears it, but it's been throughout of history. The same that oft times hath charmed magic casements opening on the foam of perilous seas and fairy lands forlorn. It's not just here throughout history, right, in England. It's all over. It's a transcendent spirit. It's a wild spirit. Forlorn. Bung. So now, right, we were, on, we were just, we were traveling with Keats in the sublime, transcendence. The very word is like a bell to toll me back from thee to my soul self. I do. The fancy cannot cheat so well as she is famed to do, deceiving elf. I do, I do. Thy plaintive anthem fades past the near mountains, over the still stream, up the hillside. So the, the bird's flying away and still singing, and Keats is brought back, right? He's brought back to the world. Was it a vision or a waking dream? Fled is that music to I wake or sleep. So now, what, what effect did that song have on Keats? Well, it not only was Catalyst to the Sublime, Transcendent Moment, allowed him to not see float away, but it, it's having a lasting effect on him, even though he's, he's, he's back in the real world. He doesn't know did that really happen? Was that a, a waking dream? Am I awake now? Or am I sleeping? Wow, that, that power, powerful effect that the nightingale song, all of that wrapped up. Now, the next poem we have by Keats is a little bit different, primarily because now we have a thing, right? Artifice an urn, something made by man. So we're going to depart a little bit from always looking and seeing things in nature at our last poem here in this little unit, Ode on a Grecian Art. 